Hey guys, welcome back. Rachel Varga here, Advanced Aesthetic Nurse. Have you ever wondered about the many ways to get rid of dark under eye circles and what actually works? Well, in this video, I'm going to go over my top three tips to get rid of dark under eye circles. Be sure to subscribe and leave me a comment or question down below about which products and procedures you've tried, what's worked, what hasn't worked. I'd love to hear from you. In this video, I'm going to let you know what works and what doesn't work so that you can stop wasting time and money on gimmicky products and procedures that promise to depuff lower eyelids or get rid of dark circles. Just learn with an expert like myself and you'll be on the right track. Okay, first off, we need to talk about skin quality because the skin around the eyes gets very thin. As I've mentioned before in my other video talking about under eyelid bags, which you should definitely watch because Lower eyelid bags and dark circles are two totally different things, but for both of them, you want to focus on skin integrity and skin health. I'm going to go over with you a picture of Kim Kardashian. With her skin type, yes, she has a darker skin type, so she's more predisposed to this darkness in this area because the skin gets a bit thin. And as you can see, you know, she doesn't have any darkness there. It's called makeup. Anyways. I think it's just really important for you guys to know that. The darker shades of discoloration often occur around the eye area as opposed to other areas of the face just because the skin is so thin. This is due to a loss of collagen and elastin around the skin making the skin really thin. If you look at the back of your hand and you see kind of like blue green veins, that's actually blood underneath the skin and through the skin it actually can have a little bit of like a blue tinge to it. The effect from the back of your hand is similar to the effect in the under eyelid area because the skin is so thin. All right, now I'm going to help you understand the top three ways to get rid of dark under eye circles fast and what works. This isn't some bogus thing like, okay, get some sleep, uh, you know, don't sleep on your face, stuff like that. Like, forget it. That's everybody knows that stuff. We're going to talk about what works. First things first, proper skincare. You hear me preach this all the time in like every single video. Medical grade skincare is where it's at, using higher levels of active ingredients to reduce pollution, oxidative stress on the skin, UV damage, because all of that leads to loss of elastin and collagen in the skin. And when you use products that have higher levels of antioxidants like vitamin C, E, and hyaluronic acid in ways that the formulation actually works and those ingredients actually penetrate the skin, and then there's actually research to back up the claims on the back of the bottle, you see where I'm going with this. Be sure to check out my playlist, yes, a whole playlist, on what you need to know about your skincare because there's so much to know. I'm not gonna be able to spit it out in like a three minute video. What you do every day is so critical for your skin. So don't haphazardly, you know, wear sunscreen some days, wear sunscreen not some days, every freaking day. And by the way, your skincare is really important for feeding and nourishing the skin, but no eye cream is going to, you know, get rid of dark circles. It's just a claim that like pretty much every eye cream makes, but it's not going to do it. I will, however, say that my Lumiere eye cream has light reflecting properties in, in it. It's got like little tiny speckles that help to reflect the light, which is awesome. So we talked about skincare. Second, we're going to talk about injectables. Avoid injectables in the lower eyelid area like the plague. That was me speaking in all caps. I know it's really tempting to find a clinic and say, hey, I just want my tear traps filled, get rid of my dark under eyelid bags. And sure, some places are going to do that, but you might end up with pretty bad side effects. So I'm going to give you my words of warning now. What fillers do in the lower eyelid bags or the tear trough is they add more space between where the blood flow is and the under eyelid structures and the skin itself. When there's more space, you will actually see less of the blue tone underneath the skin or brown or just darkness in general. But unfortunately, dermal fillers in the lower eyelid bags can cause some serious issues like blocking lymphatic drainage, blood flow, blindness, and even migration. Well, actually, I'd say blindness is the worst one. <laughs> but the biggest issue I see is irregular uh, structure or an irregular look causing weird shadows. And if you take a look at my other video where I talk about lower eyelid bags, I 
talk about a beautiful actress and I just really think that she needs to have her fillers dissolved here because it just has this weird like lump and you don't want that. You don't want lumps on your face. So avoiding tear trough and lower eyelid bags is a great way to avoid lumpy face syndrome. Not good. It's not a good look. These types of side effects are what you don't hear about when you see these really cool sped up videos on Instagram where, you know, poof, someone has like lower eyelid bag removal within like a minute on the sped up Instagram video, but they don't show you the side effects that can happen and I see it far too often. So me as an advanced injector, I've performed about 10,000 injectable treatments. I don't even do the tear troughs. I just don't. I just don't. I don't need to. And if I can provide safer treatments for my clients, why wouldn't I want to give them the safest treatments possible and have them not look weird and have lumpy faces? The number one thing that I have clients come to me from other clinics asking me to fix is their lower eyelid tear trough fillers. And I fix that and I fix a lot of duck lips. Don't get duck lips. It's not a good look. Why would you want to look like a duck? With people that have fillers in their lower eyelid, what happens is they can actually just wake up randomly months later. I saw a client, nine months later she woke up and it looked like she had been stung in her lower eye bags by bees. They were so puffy, they were so blue, she had serious edema happening and it all needed to be dissolved. She couldn't even work for like two weeks. I have seen a number of times people come in the office like randomly they have swelling from tear trough fillers they had like five, 10 years ago. Seriously, that stuff sticks around. The fillers can break down a little bit faster in other areas of the face, like the perioral smile lines, things like that. But in here, there isn't actually a ton of movement, so it tends to like migrate and look a little bit weird. If you are absolutely desperate, however, and you do have a really deep tear trough, absolutely seek the advice of an oculoplastic surgeon. Hands down, that's the only person I would recommend anybody trust to put fillers into the tear trough area because they take apart that skin all the time in the tissues and delicate eyelid area and they understand the contours of the face. So what I don't like is when people get their cheeks done and then it's kind of the, the fillers put so high that it actually causes like a really weird um, what am I doing to my face? <laughs> but yeah, it basically brings the cheek up so high that it makes the eyelids look quite a bit smaller. It makes the eyes look smaller because of that, uh, that pressure. It's, it can be a very odd look. So when it comes to injectables around the eyes, seek out an oculoplastic surgery office. All right, number three, we're going to talk about laser treatments. I love laser treatments. I recommend you have them about one to three times a year, but there's so many different types of lasers. Based on your skin type, you might need something different than someone else might need. So I'm not really gonna make some blanket statements here of what technologies are the best because things that I really like, next year that option might be different, right? So I have to keep up with what's latest and greatest in my industry. And this is really an area where I see a ton of gimmicky lasers say, oh, you know, it's gonna get rid of lower eyelid bags or dark circles, but it really doesn't. And if it does, it's very minimal. Lasers and products are where people waste a lot of money. And the products I'm talking about are kind of like those Spanx type products that basically help to kind of flatten the skin. It does create an immediate effect, but as soon as you get the face wet, that effect is gone. Lasers are really important for thickening up the skin, however, and that can be helpful for reducing darkness around the eyelid area, especially with people with darker skin types. And what I find with people with darker skin types is that they tend to get kind of like that brownish, reddish hue around the eyes. And when you just rejuvenate the skin and it becomes a little bit thicker, it tends to not display that really tired look. My advice for you is to get laser treatments by registered providers, not off Groupon, not at a spa, things like that. And if you really want to get a very detailed treatment around your eyes, then again, I'm gonna recommend that you go to an oculoplastic surgery office where the staff are going to be a little bit better trained and more knowledgeable on getting those laser treatments right into the eyelid area. As you can tell, this is an area I'm really passionate on and microneedling, in my opinion, you're just gonna get better treatments with better laser technologies out there. PRP, uh, regenerative medicine, stem cells, growth factors, all that stuff. It's really new. So if 
I were to get those treatments myself, I'd maybe give it a couple of years until the protocols are more dialed in and there's more long-term research to suggest ways that those products can be applied and have them be effective. But at this stage in the game, it's all really new. So no, I don't recommend that you spend $3,000 on a microneedling and PRP treatment. Just don't. Bonus. This is my holy grail for getting rid of dark under eye circles. And guess what? It's like $30. Let's take a look at a picture of Mila Kunis together. As you can see in this picture here, you know, she doesn't really have any darkness. There's definitely some shadows here so she could benefit from some neuromodulators all over. And then here you can see she's actually quite dark. She's again of a darker skin type. So, you know, this picture here, she's got some makeup on and clearly this one here, she doesn't. And just an FYI, look how normal she looks in the one where she doesn't have makeup. These celebrities don't have magical celebrity genes. They're just like you and I, except they have these products and really good makeup and a whole team of people making them look good at their fingertips. So don't beat yourself up. I even have dark circles, right? We all do, so don't worry about that. But anyways, just wanted to highlight that, uh, those few celebrities there that just to really show you that everybody has dark circles. It, it's actually very normal too. It's called concealer. I know, right? People come and meet with me and they're like, how do I get rid of my dark under eye circles? Use a really good concealer, save your money. Like, what do you want? Do you want like this quick one or $2,000 laser treatment that's gonna do it? It doesn't exist. It really doesn't. Cause if it was there, I would be offering it. I promise you. Anyways, my favorite concealer is the Glow Minerals, which is now called Glow Skin Beauty. Uh, it's great, I use it for all my filming, photo shoots, I use it every single day, it costs about $30, lasts me about three to six months, and it's great, it's awesome. You can sweat with it, you can swim with it, it stays put, it's mineral oil, talc free, paraben free, not tested on animals, and it's got some green tea extract and mineral sunscreens in it, so it's a really good one. So my bonus tip is actually my favorite tip for helping you understand how to get rid of your dark circles fast and like it's immediate right concealer is great but don't use these garbage products you'll find at the drugstore or whatever use really good high performance makeup right glow minerals or glow skin beauty makeup is actually featured on a number of netflix series which is really cool this is actually a really cool segue because i i work with glow skin beauty and no, this is, I'm not being paid to say this, but this is a brand that I really like and trust and they have really high performing products and I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. So if you're watching this video while the giveaway is happening, I'm gonna leave the link down below. Make sure you enter to win. There you have it. It's actually really simple. Take care of the skin, get the odd laser treatment in, maybe some injectables if it's actually puffiness and some really good makeup. That's it. <laughs> Obviously you're going to look better if you're healthy as well. So here's my plug to optimize your body, mind, spirit to achieve optimal beauty. It's not rocket science. It's, you know, pretty common sense that if you look after yourself, your skin's going to thank you and you're going to look healthy too. Let me know if you've ever had a rejuvenation treatment in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe also. If you want to learn more about injectables, I have a great video that you can check out where I actually show an injectable assessment and procedure. This video is great for helping you understand achieving a brow lift or an eyelid lift non-surgically. And as with everything, everything is technician dependent. One injectable procedure or one laser treatment procedure from one provider to the next can vary dramatically. So all of this is half art, half science, which is actually why I love my work so much. It's so much fun helping people bring their greatest versions forward and kind of boosting people's self-confidence. It's a beautiful thing and I get a lot of satisfaction from it. Thank you so much for watching. You can also check out some of my other free resources at rachelvarga.ca. I have a podcast and so many other things. If you wanna work with me, I'm available there. You can reach out. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.